Hi, it's your boy Mardax doing another indie game showcase. Have a seat, coffee or tea, and nice to see you. So let's go. Nearly everybody knows about HP Lovecraft and his twisted mind series around the horrific god Cthulhu. I personally like the universe, even if it's, well, in my opinion, quite bizarre and with a dark setup. Something is in it, don't you think? So like always, I was searching for another indie project. I want to show you, of course. And I happened to find a game where developers mixed Vampire Survivor's Bullet Heaven mechanic with Lovecraft Universe, adding some lore and unexpected events. Creating something with more depth than just another simple clone. The game's Steam page, or the game itself, doesn't tell that it grabs some inspiration from the Lovecraft universe and games based on it. But when I played it for the first time, I immediately connected to the game world with the universe based on fear and nightmares. Let's be honest, it's just too obvious to miss. The game used the bullet heaven mechanic not just as a pure gameplay, but as part of the world. You are alone in the wilderness, forgotten by the gods, the last survivor from the entire crew, there is nobody to help you, and you deeply know that your days are numbered. You start in empty place with few chests around you and nearby fireplace. Your oil lamp gives you temporary vision around you and keeps your sanity at some acceptable level. You loot the first chest with random supplies and in few seconds you can spot something coming towards your way. Rats, or rats-like creatures, crawling towards you from every spot. Thankfully, you have your last and most important tool of defense, a revolver. Similar to Vampire Survivor games, from the beginning till the end of the stage, stronger and more dangerous enemies will come over time, messing with your head more and more. Light from the fireplace or oil lamp is a blessing, allowing you to keep your sanity at fine level. Sanity is needed to allow us to use skills like increased damage over time or health regeneration. Using these skills depletes your sanity, therefore you have to maintain its level. Beside everything, you have to keep your stamina level up to not get frozen to death. And to replenish your stamina, you have to stay still for some time. While often you are overrun by strange creatures and demons, it's not as easy as it seems. And a cool thing is once per some waves, we have to survive in blizzard even. Stats are dropping fast, the character is losing health, and vision is limited, especially if you don't use an oil lamp or you are not around a fireplace. The last one also burns out quickly, so with limited possibilities, it's quite hard. Like in other games based on bullet heaven mechanics, by eliminating enemies you are going to collect experience in the form of souls and body parts. It gives you the needed experience to level up, and with every level you can obtain one of three random selected upgrades, or perks, whatever. Beside level 1, where you have to choose one skill that is not working passively but actively, and to use them you need sanity, you gather abilities upgrades that increase your damage or fire rate and more. On the main menu screen, there is a separate section related to upgrades and here we can unlock specific constellations giving us upgrades and powers. To buy these upgrades, you need to collect teeths, herds and eyes dropped by enemies in survival mode. At the beginning, I was annoyed that the game doesn't indicate where to find another fireplace or chest, but it appears that you have to unlock that feature in the upgrades menu. Perks and skills you are getting by leveling work differently than in Vampire Survivors. There is no limit on how many times you will upgrade a particular ability, so leveling up is also faster. With the right focus on upgrades and skills that give you the most benefits, you can become for example a glass cannon type. Geez, I like pixel art with some 3D depth very much, and thanks to the used art style it doesn't feel flat. I prefer personally more detailed pixel art, but here it works fine. And I'm sure that with the full release, where on screen there will be like hundreds of enemies, 
this art style is less power hungry than highly detailed one. Music is quite typical for the type of setup. Dark sounds based on violin for a murky world full of fishy monsters right from the deep sea. Bullet Heaven mechanic used as a part of the game lore and world is a fun concept and more original than many other Vampire Survivor clones. Forcing the player to search for crates, fireplace and loot adds some depth to the gameplay and it separates itself from the other similar games. Well, I would like to tweak some things like longer lifespan of fireplaces with some wood or better tutorial about playing and upgrading skills. Using the Cthulhu universe as inspiration is fun and interesting, so if you want to check the game, there's a link in the description. And if you want to get more info about the new indie games, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and happy gaming.